In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two new tools in Canva Pro that you may not know yet. To access the tools that I'm going to show you in today's video, you will need a Canva Pro account, meaning a paid Canva account. Although if you have a Canva free account and want to unlock these tools that I'm going to show you today, I left an affiliate link below so that you can enjoy a free trial of Canva Pro for 30 days. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Munoz, I am a Canva certified creative and also an online instructor. If you want to learn more about Canva and don't miss out next week's tutorial in which I'm going to show you this trick of people crossing letters or being in between words, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button. Now, are you ready for this video? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so here we are in my computer. I'll be using my Canva Pro account. As I already mentioned, this is the paid version of Canva. And for this new tool that I want to show you today, I'll be needing a photo. So I have one of my photos here. I'll be using this one for the exercise. And now I'm going to select the photo and let's go to the effects menu. If you know Canva already, you may know the background remover option or feature. So what it does is that it removes the background of a photo with just one click as it says here so in this case it will automatically identify the subject in this picture and remove the background so let's do it and let's wait a couple of seconds until this feature removes the background from my photo and the new tool that I want to show you today it's already here so it is the background remover brush and here we have actually two different brushes, the erase brush and the restore brush. So in this case, I would like to show you here. Let's go closer to the photo like this. And as you may see, there is a little piece of the glass that the background remover took away. So we can use the restore brush in this case, you can see here, I will be restoring this section of the photo like this. And now I have my glass complete. <laughs> and if I want to restore maybe like this section of the table as well, it's actually not the table, but it's a piece of the background. But if I want to restore it, I can do it with this brush and I can actually also erase sections of the photo. So while I was restoring this section of the photo, I realized that it's actually not a piece of the table, but the background of uh, this photo. So we can actually go using the erase brush and erase this section of the photo. And if we want to be very precise, we can actually change the size of this brush and go really into detail here and it will take maybe a couple of minutes for you to get your perfect photo but at least now we can do something about it before we didn't have this option so i'm really happy that we have it now uh, so i will be removing here another section of this photo here you can see there is also a little piece of the background here and once that you have your photo ready you can click here on done and there you have your photo this background remover brush is available for canva pro users you can be using the website option or the app desktop app option and also for canva enterprise now let's go to the second feature that i want to show you today the second feature or second tool that i want to show you today is a download option so we are going here to the download menu and it is a different file type so i'm going to open the menu here and you will see all the different file types that we can download directly from canva and the new one it is here the svg option and as you can see here it has a little crown 
That means uh, this option is available for Canva Pro users, Canva Enterprise, and also it will be available for Canva Education and Nonprofit. With this option, you will get really sharp and detailed images. So I will show you exactly what it means. Okay, so I want to show you what is the difference between a PNG file and an SVG. Why should I be using the SVG file type? Okay, so for this example, I would like to create a really, really quick logo. So let's go to elements and I will use one of these icons that I recently used. It is called the rough hand-drawn isolated face. So let's add it to my Canva. I'm actually going to crop it a little bit right here. And I will add a text box. So let's write peace. Let's say that I'm creating a logo. And for this uh, text, I use the Jonathan font and I will make it big so it fills my empty page like this. And now let's download this as a PNG and then later we will download it as an SVG so we can see the difference between the two of them. So now I'm going to download this image as a PNG with transparent background going to select this page and then uh, I will download the SVG okay downloading the SVG with transparent background okay okay so now I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to name it PNG so we remember I'm going to upload the PNG file right here Okay, so I have my PNG, you can see here, this is the PNG file, and I'm going to position this one in the page tree, PNG, and now I'm going to add a new page, SVG, and let's uh, upload the SVG to Canva and position it in the page number four. So we have our SVG ready, and let's fill the page with it. Okay, so now we are going to stretch the PNG a lot. So let's make it big, really big, because I want to see the detail. So as you can see here, hopefully you will see it as well as me, this line started to look pixelated. It's not sharp anymore. And now let's go to the SVG. Okay, so this is the SVG file and I'm going to make it huge like the other one, really, really big. And as you can see, they are almost the same size, like this, I would say they are the same size, but the SVG still looks very sharp because this file type is a vector and you can see here the difference hopefully the PNG looks pixelated and the SVG looks very very sharp so this is why we should be using SVG uh, you can use it if you are creating logos or maybe icons for your websites and also the SVG file it downloads as a small size file so I'm making this SVG smaller because I want to show you another feature that I find really amazing for these SVG files and it is this. You can see here that the color option is activated. So I can open here the color menu and actually change the color of the logo. So if I'm using this logo in a photo, on top of a photo as a watermark. So let's say this dark photo and I think that maybe this green doesn't look very amazing so I can just change it here to white or pink or whatever color you like and if I go here to my PNG and I try to change the color I cannot do it because the PNG files do not have this feature that SVG files have so this is very cool 
I'm loving it and I'm sure that I will be using it a lot. I'm going to recommend you a video right here to watch after finishing this tutorial in which I show you three other free tools within Canva that you may not know yet and many people like that tutorial so if you haven't seen it go check it out. Remember that in the next tutorial I will teach you how to create this effect right here so if you are interested in that tutorial subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it out if you want to learn more about canva i'm going to leave you here some cool tutorials that i think you will like a lot and i also would like to ask you what do you think about this tutorial if you learned something new let me know by leaving a thumbs up and that's it for now i wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial ciao